Hey, what's up guys? Inman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and do another test of the Auto Park feature, which is now part of the Enhanced Self-Driving Package. Uh, I've done two prior tests, uh, most recent one being about seven months ago. So it's been a little while now, and since then there's been multiple updates that have come out. Currently I'm running on version uh, 11.0 or 2022.20.8. And uh, so we're gonna try and see what uh, changes, if any, improvements have been made in this package. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So this is a bit of a controversial issue uh, ever since uh, there's been a, a price increase with FSD package. Uh, now being offered in uh, an enhanced version as well as a full version and uh, the most recent price being $15,000 for the FSD, the full package. The enhanced one is $6,000 and uh, the reason why it's a bit controversial is because a lot of people feel like, hey, if I'm going to put up $15,000, that software itself should be fully capable of doing its job, which I fully agree with. Um, but we've seen price hikes over the years going from 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12, and again, most recently 15,000. And uh, the software itself is not currently fully functional. Uh, there's beta versions that are currently being tested and Elon Musk has said that uh, fighter release of the beta version should be out by the end of the year, if I'm not mistaken. So they're certainly in the works, but the current version itself is not fully functional. And uh, so that's where the controversy, controversy lies. So let's go ahead and test this out right now. I am again, I'm running on version 11.0, 2022.20.8. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this out in the same parking lot where I did my other two tests. So we'll check and see how well this works. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in drive and I'm just gonna swing around and, uh, and see how it picks up any of the parking spots. So first we'll do a, uh, a normal parking spot, meaning I'm just going to go ahead and pull up to a parking spot that does not have a car next to it. Uh, you guys can probably see in the camera here, these are empty spots um, outlining by you know, the two white lines for parking. So right now it did pick that one up. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, shift to reverse, and uh, hit start. And I'm just going to keep my hands next to it and my foot near the brake in case I need to take over. But it looks like it did pick up the parking spot next to the car. I thought it was going to pick up that other parking spot that I passed. So this, we know this works. I've tried it out in the past. Uh, it might take a couple tries back and forth, but it will go ahead and park in this spot. I really want to test out and see if it can pick up a spot that does not have a car next to it. So we'll go ahead and test that after this one's done. But as you guys can see, um, this works flawlessly right next to it. And uh, all done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out of this parking spot and uh, try and see if you can, again, park in the spot that does not have a car next to it. So I'm just going to drive a little bit further. Need that. So I'm just going to drive. So I did pick up this one. And this one, it might have picked up because there's a car on the other side. So we'll see if that's the same spot or not. You guys can see in the reverse camera here. There's actually a Dodge Viper, which is a very rare car here in the U.S. They don't make them anymore. They stopped production, I want to say 10, 15 years ago maybe. But that's what you see back there. Um, so it did pick up that spot in front of it. It did not pick up uh, this empty spot next to it. So it looks like it's uh, not able to pick that up yet, or at least not that one. did a great job again with that one so I'll go ahead and uh, I will pull back out and continue to drive in this area here and see if we can pick up uh, any other spots here that's not next to it. so right now I'm driving and I did pick up that one so nice let's see if this works so now there's no cars next to it or behind it completely empty spot and so I did pick that one up Maybe with that, I apologize. My radar detector is going off.
So far, so good. I feel like it's doing it a little bit faster than it used to. I'm not sure if that's just me um, or if it feels or if it actually is doing it that way. That's good. So as you guys can see there, there's no car there at all. There's no cars there at all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually go around to that area and see if it picks up any empty spots. Right now, even though there are no cars behind it or next to it, there's obviously there's still that car there. So I don't know if it uses that to pick up uh, the parking spot or not. But um, I'm just going to go in the completely open area and see what it does. So let me just go ahead and swing around here since there's no cars at all and see if it picks up any of these spots here it did so it did pick up this one shift to reverse and start and uh let's let it do its thing so for this one uh, again completely empty no cars next to it no cars behind it um and so it did pick that up The last time I did this, I did it in uh, about seven, eight months ago in the winter, and it was really a hit and miss. And uh, it could have been because there there was some snow on the ground, but I did also, uh, you know what? I did test areas that weren't covered in snow, and uh, it did not pick it up. So I think there's definitely some improvement here um, with that uh, functionality. Now that we've done the empty spots, uh, I want to test out two things: parking on the driver's side, uh, see if it picks that up. So I'm gonna drive on this side instead of the other side and see if it picks up, it does. I'm gonna go ahead and hit reverse and let it park there. Start. Uh oh, auto park aborted. Don't know why I did that, um, but that was a fail. Let's try again, I'm gonna go forward it must have seen something it didn't like and this car is coming this way so that's not good I'm gonna go back go ahead no maybe not all right I'm gonna have to swing around and uh, pick another spot there on the driver's side in the US obviously I'm driving the opposite direction so this is kind of weird um, with, with me trying to park on this side, but it does pick these up. So let's try this way and see what it does. Hopefully it won't abort this time. I don't know why it aborted last time. So far so good. job on it perfect it worked so that's good the last test I want to do is uh, parking actually in between the cars so we've got a couple options here I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up to one of these we'll try and see if you can park it uh, between these two cars here and uh, see what it picks up now there's a person walking it did offer it for a second and then it went away. Let's see if I back up myself. There it is. So, uh, hit start. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that one. That's not the parking spot. I was thinking of this parking spot. But we'll do this one instead. It's getting very close. Making me a little nervous. I'll let it go. Let it correct itself. It's a bit nerve-wracking. Uh, on video, it doesn't seem like that. I get a lot of comments about you stopped it too quickly. Uh, but you know what? It's my car, and uh, I don't want to hit it or damage someone else's car. And so sometimes I do stop it, and uh, it really is nerve-wracking when you're physically doing it versus what you guys see in the camera. But uh, yeah, that one worked out perfectly fine as well. In between both cars, um, you guys can see even amount of space. 
the back looks good so overall outside of that one being aborted for whatever reason um, you guys can see all the tests worked out perfectly so I would say it's a success based on my previous experience in the winter uh, I feel like it's picked up a lot more spaces it did a better job and did it faster again is it still 100% uh, no, but I think with uh, the updates coming out uh, It certainly will get there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video If you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye